Hi, my name is Joss from Wild Womb, and this video is to give you a little uh, womb breathwork practice uh, with some gentle womb space uh, connection movements. And it's a really simple practice, maybe 10 minutes max, and it's for everyone. So all ages of self-identified women, um, all stages as well. So you know whether you're menstruating or postmenopausal, just any of the above, uh, it's for you. Uh, especially if you have had like a hysterectomy or womb, any kind of womb surgery, uh, this practice can be very healing. Uh, we are connecting to the energetic womb space, not like the physical um, womb. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you. It's a seated practice, uh, so you can start to get comfortable uh, cross-legged. And just to briefly explain before we get into it, um, at Wild Bloom, I help women uh, reclaim their feminine powers so they can love their bodies and embrace the power and the freedom of womanhood. And the way that I do this is through womb yoga, which we're going to try right now, and healing circles and energetic sessions. So if you're curious to learn more about that or to learn more of these practices, I do have a private page called Wild and Empowered Women, and I would love for you to join me there. The link should be in this post, so you can just click on it and join right away. Uh, so if you are ready, if you are cross-legged, uh, sitting comfortably, uh, the intention of this practice is to connect to your womb space energies. Uh, it's called feminine energies, or sometimes it's called shakti. So there's many different terms for this. Uh, sh shakti energy, feminine energy, really is energy of creation and uh, sexuality. And in women, this energy really loves to flow. And so all the practices that I offer are just sort of inviting that flow of energy. Uh, so to start, you can place your hands over your knees and just gently rock back and forth. And as you do this, you're sort of feeling into your sits bones and rocking back and forth on both of them. And you can invite a feeling of ease. So a very easeful, fluid movement. You could even close your eyes and start to visualize like a slow flowing river, just something that's like really easeful and flowy. And you can layer in the breath as well uh, and inhale to come forward. And then an exhale as you lean back. And a slight arch in the back as you come forward. And a slight rounding, pulling the shoulder blades apart. You can even tuck the chin as you come back. So it's like a seated cat-cow, except it's a bit more coming from the pelvis. Uh, so the pelvis is sort of driving the movement, rocking forward and back. And let your breath guide you, right? So inhales to come forward. <sighs> Exhales back. Not only are we inviting like fluidity in the pelvis, but also the spine. Just letting the spine move between flexion and extension. Maybe take one more round. And then come back to center. It's same idea, but just taking big circles now. So an inhale to come forward, and then an exhale, a little bit of a round as we come back, and then an inhale forward, exhale back and round. Again, remembering that you're you're inviting a feeling of ease and fluidity in your pelvis. So let it feel really soft relaxed and then you can try the opposite way so coming all the way over and across inhale forward exhale to round and come back so big big circles here and then maybe do one more round
and then come back to center. So those two movements right there, you could stay with that, you know, if you're feeling a lot of tension in the pelvis, in the hip flexors, you could stay here and just work on that movement. Um, we'll start to move into some embodiment now. So gently rubbing the sides of the thighs. And if you're going fast as you do this, just try to slow it down a bit and really be like in the moment um, as you touch your body and start to invite a loving thought. And we can be really hard on ourselves as women <laughs> to our bodies, right? So as you do this, um, you know, maybe saying I love my body or gratitude to my dear body for all that it's done. You know what you need to hear. So invite that thought, that affirmation in as you say that. And again, you can stay here as long as you like. You know, some days you have to stay here longer than others. Um, it all depends. And if you like, you can move up and just kind of rub the sides of the arms. You can even close your eyes here, gentle breaths. And again, something loving, like something really positive and nice that you know you need to hear right now, especially if you're being hard on yourself. Good. And then gently coming out of this and some gentle taps kind of beneath the collarbone area. Just like little light, light taps, just to feel into the body again. <sighs> and again, you can move up to the forehead. And maybe kind of massaging in the temples. Good, and then gently releasing. So we'll take some deep breaths into the womb space now. A few options here, you can do the Yoni Mudra, which is a uh, downward triangle with the thumbs and the index finger touching. And again, Yoni is just a Sanskrit word for womb space. So the entire uh, zone really, uh, but feel free to call it what you like. Um, yoni is just one term and the Mudra is an option. You can also just place your hands over the womb space or even just leave your hands at your side. So bringing the hands uh, over your beautiful womb space, <sighs> start to breathe and connect, draw into the pelvic bowl. So bringing your awareness to your pelvic bowl and noticing if you are clenching here, if there's any tension. And notice if you can relax a little, if you can let go where you can. Now, for women, this is uh, commonly the space of tension. Uh, it's very, very common in women of all ages to store, to hold tension here. So it's really powerful when we can just breathe into the space, just to even visualize letting go. So start to take a few deep breaths. And just unwind a bit, just release you know, especially like in the hip crease and the pelvic muscles. <sighs> letting go, letting go. And then as you connect with the pelvic bowl, you might want to close your eyes or let the eyes be soft. And you can even visualize the pelvic bowl like a bowl of flowers or feathers, something so soft and light, and try to channel that sort of feeling, that sort of vibe in as you breathe. So take a deep breath in and exhale. Good. And start to breathe in and out through the nose. And feel free to find stillness or if like that rocking motion feels good, you can go with that or even like those little circles, you can do that. So notice what feels good as you connect to the space. And then invitation to start to visualize a little crystal in the center of your womb space. So a little crystal in the center of your womb space. And 
and then noticing how does that crystal look? How does it feel? What color is it? Is it bright? Is it dull? So notice all these things as you connect. And then I'll invite you to take three deep breaths in and out through this crystal. So you might want to continue to keep the eyes closed. And with these three breaths, invite a positive thought, gratitude or celebration for whatever you see there. So take a deep breath in all the way up, 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 and hold. And exhale. And again, a deep breath in, breathe from the lower belly all the way up, lift the chest and hold the breath. And exhale all the way out. And pause. One more breath, breathing in gratitude and celebration. Breathe all the way up to the top. Hold the breath at the top. And as you're ready, slowly exhaling. Invitation to repeat this mantra, this affirmation with me, maybe out loud or in your mind. My womb is safe. My womb is protected. My womb is in peace. So gratitude, celebration for your womb space, for your feminine energy. You can start to slowly bring the hands up to meet your beautiful heart. And again, you might want to keep the eyes closed here, taking a moment to celebrate and have gratitude for your heart. Uh, the energies of our heart are sent down to our womb space, so always taking that time to honor and respect. And very gently bringing the hands into prayer softly, opening the eyes and we will take three breaths to expand this energy out. So whatever you may have connected to, whatever energies you felt, we'll practice sending it out. Um, it's inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. So take a deep breath in and open the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, mouth. Two more at your own pace. Inhaling up, up. Spreading out as much as you can. <sighs> Exhaling. Back to heart center. And one last time. Inhaling, reaching out, expanding, expanding all that beautiful energy. <sighs> Exhaling all the way back to meet your heart. Thank you so much. That is everything. That is the practice. You've done it. And I'm so happy to share this with you. Uh, I hope this can be brought into your ritual, into your self-care routine. And if you have any questions or anything at all, again, my name is Joss Frank from Wild Womb, and you can certainly get in touch with me. Uh, I hope to see you on the private Facebook page where I share more about these practices and more teachings. Uh, wild and empowered women. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much.